Apple products from 1975 to 2000. Why did 2000 instead of 2019? Well, because of the fact that I chose such a broad topic that is still growing as we speak, if I were to present all the products till present day, this video would be much longer. So I chose 2000, the start of a new era. Besides, nowadays everyone is pretty up to date with what Apple has came out with. The Alt Air 8800 was the first microcomputer created by Ed Roberts. In order to program it, you needed to go through a tedious process of flipping switches. The Apple I was a personal computer that was designed by Steve Wozniak with Steve Jobs' idea of selling it. This is the Apple II. The Apple Silent Type printer was the first printer created. It only printed on special heat sensitive paper that darkened when heated. This is the Apple III computer. The Apple Dot Matrix printer contained a print head that moved up and down and side to side, striking an ink soaked cloth ribbon against the paper, kind of like a typewriter. This printer was made to go with the Apple Lisa computer. This is the Apple Lisa computer. The Macintosh featured a graphical user interface that utilized windows, icons, and a mouse. The Apple IIc. The Apple Scribe printer was a thermal transfer printer. It was capable of printing on a regular paper. It printed color and was capable of producing images as well. The Apple Laser Writer was the first laser printer that contained an Adobe software that could manage the accurate scaling of the fonts and graphs. The Apple Color Monitor 2E. This is the Macintosh Plus. This is the Apple Image Writer LQ. The Apple Scanner was the first flatbedded scanner. It was capable of creating an image with 16 levels of gray, and it could complete the scan in 20 seconds. This is the Apple 2C Plus. This is the Macintosh 2X. This is the Apple Macintosh 2CI. The Apple Macintosh Portable was the first portable Mac. It had an active matrix screen which could update faster. This is the Macintosh Classic. The PowerBook 100 was co-designed by Apple and Sony. It was smaller, lighter, and cheaper, but still the same as the other portable Macs. This is the PowerBook 230. The Apple Newton message pad served as the new market of personal digital assistants, aka the handheld computer. The Apple Pippin was a game console that was collaborated between a Japanese video game company and Apple. It stood out to most people because you could buy a game in Japan and play it in the US and that wasn't very common at that time. This is the PowerBook 1400. The E-Mate 300 was unlike any computer. It had a translucent shell to protect it from high drops, dirt, water, and food and drinks. The Mac G3 was made primarily for the internet. The iBook came in many colors and interesting designs that made you want to touch it. The inspiration of the design came from Nature, a clamshell design. It was meant to capture the eyes of everyone. The iPod Classic helped evolve the entire music industry. Going from an MP3 player to digital music players, there on came the idea of iTunes. As you can see, I didn't describe all of them. The ones that I just named are basically the same as the original one, it's just that they just changed a few glitches.